Hey everybody, I'm Maggie Hill and welcome back to Talk Techie, where we discuss how science, technology, engineering, and math are used in the real world every day in surprising ways. Today we're discussing trigonometry and how it's used by fighter jet pilots to complete successful missions. We'll also talk about how the concept originated with calculating the distance to the stars. Lockheed Martin engineer Jeff Clark is here to explain more. Let's check it out. It might be hard to imagine using trigonometry in the real world, but architects, astronomers, engineers, and scientists use it every day. As engineers, we use trigonometry to keep our fighter pilots safe on their very important missions. Let me introduce you to our IRST system. IRST stands for Infrared, Search, and Track. You've probably learned about the electromagnetic spectrum in your science classes. The IRST system uses a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that measures heat. This is known as the infrared spectrum. Think of the IRST as another eyeball for the pilot. It increases his awareness and lets him know what other aircraft might be out there. Using the algorithms in our IRST software, the system is able to determine whether that spec is a glint of sunlight or an enemy aircraft moving at high speed. Now that we see all of these specs in the sky around us, how do we figure out which one is the threat? Well, that's where trigonometry comes in. Let's imagine that this point is the enemy target. The pilot still needs to know how far away that enemy is. Here's how it works. It really helps to think of these points as forming a triangle. So imagine our IRST is here and our target is here and we want to determine just how far away it is. The IRST takes an angle measurement. Then the pilot moves the IRST to a second position and takes another angle measurement. So now we know two angles and the distance in between them. And using the law of signs, that's how we calculate range. You probably recognize some of these trigonometric concepts from your textbooks, but did you know these concepts actually go back as far as the ancient Greeks? By the 19th century, German astronomer Friedrich Bessel applied the concept of stellar parallax on 61 Cygni, a binary star system that is 10.4 light years away. That gave astronomers a much more accurate measure of the size of the universe. But you don't have to fly a fighter jet to use trigonometry in real life. In fact, most occupations use trigonometry in one form or another. Yet it's these principles, coupled together with cool technology like our IRST system, that help keep our pilots both aware and safe. Thanks, Jeff. Now we want to hear from you, so be sure to talk techie with us down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to learn more. You can also visit LockheedMartin.com STEM for more resources. I'm Maggie Hill, and I'll see you next time. Bye!